Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video, and it is our second Titan card review of the day. Our second Titan as well. We have the Hunter Titan, which these times are crazy. They all seem like legitimately really, really strong, really powerful. And this card is kind of terrifying in the amount of damage it could push, the value you could get. Like, it's just ridiculously good. We're gonna go into it. If you wanna win this ridiculously good card and some of the other Titans or all the other Titans, if you get really lucky, we are giving away two Mega Bundles, two regular pre-orders out of my pocket. All you have to do to enter that giveaway, like, comment to the video description below, the one we're looking at. Be subscribe to the channel. Every thousand subs until July 23rd, I will add another Mega Bundle giveaway. Hit that sub button, make me go broke. I do wanna let you guys know something since I don't have my daily news video, uh, like during card review season. Go into the go into the client right now. The twist a new age event has started. There's six packs to get. My face is blocking the Altrack United Stormwind packs. You you have to play twist to get like these um, quests, but you can just get it passively or just play twist, whatever. It, it's super fun, right? And you can go into the shop and there's a free standard pack, just free, waiting to be claimed. So go to the shop, get your free pack, maybe open up something good or save that standard pack for the next expansion because, well, you might get Titan cards in that pack. That's what I do. I hold on to them since I have all the cards. Like I'm kind of in that luxury position. However, the card, we have the new Titan for Hunter, Agrimar, the Avenger, a six mana, three, seven Titan battle cry, equip a three, three Tashlak, Tashlak. I don't know, but remember you want to play this probably an aggressive Hunter deck. This guy can't attack, but it's got seven health for six mana, which is pretty hard to remove. That's like Boulder Fist hard. And we all know that Boulder Fist is an ogre that's really hard to move. So imagine moving Agrimar, but maybe we could protect it. Maybe we could do some crazy stuff with it with these new abilities. Again, when you play a Titan, you could summon or pick one of these abilities right away. And well, they're all weapon based. They all work with your weapon. The first being maintain order. Give your weapon after your hero attacks, draw a card. So this sticks on there, right? Like you're not losing this ability once it's like your uh, Titan goes away. Your weapon keeps that ability. So you will draw three cards as long as your weapon isn't broken. And let's say you have a way to upgrade your weapon, you can draw even more. If you up the durability, there's like that one drop in the game that gives your weapon one durability. That's very powerful. That's nine damage. You're drawing three cards. Hunter likes to draw cards. They don't have the best ways to do it. And this could be a great way to go. And that just seems incredibly solid. But there's one that's pretty scary here. This is the one that I think is just nuts. Swift Slash. Give your weapon plus two attack. So that's like permanent, right? It's not your, this turn. Just give your weapon plus two attack. That's a 5-3 weapon. That's 15 damage. That's half of your opponent's life on one weapon in an aggressive class. And you also give your hero is immune while attacking. So let's say I got to kill something. I don't want to take the damage. I'm playing maybe more of that Hound Hunter, more for the late game. I, I get that immunity. So I get the upside of incredible damage and I could also remove it. This is actually like a throwback to Gladiator's Longbow, I believe it was called for Hunter. Seven mana, five, two weapon in classic. Your hero is immune while attacking. Terrible card, never saw play. However, this comes with a three, seven body that can also do other stuff. And it's important to note, we also have commanding presence. The last ability here, give your weapon after your hero attacks, summon a three, three enforcer with taunt. So if you start with this, you can get summon three, three threes with taunt. And also if you summon these taunts, there's a pretty good shot. This Titan might stick around. And I think in a class like Hunter, that is much more aggressive, a much more board based than a lot of other classes. They have a lot of other threats going on. They have a lot of other things. You got barrel of monkeys going on with taunts and all sorts of shenanigans. This titan is very likely to stick around and your opponent is going to be in a tough spot where okay they have a bunch of threats on the board possibly do i remove the titan that can't even attack but he's going to upgrade their weapon or do i kill all the other stuff that's actually hurting me 
there's a lot of options or a lot of thought process that's going to have to go into that uh, unless you know your your death knight and you just you know you know corpse explosion and nuke the board this does compete i really do think it does compete with the legendary weapon that recently got nerfed that's like a double hand buff i don't know if this is better than that i don't know if this is worse than that but I feel like this card is just incredibly versatile. Like you can play this in an aggressive hunter deck just for the five attack, right? The, the 15 damage weapon that is so much damage just in one thing. But it also, even an aggressive deck drawing three cards is really powerful. You don't run out of gas. You can burn your opponent out or more value based. And the same goes for a value based deck, right? Drawing cards. Like it, it works, I feel like, in Face Hunter, even though it's six mana, the game, you know, you still play a, quite a few more expensive minions. Plus, I mean, they even run collateral damage, an eight mana spell for the most part. You're probably going to be playing this card, and it works a lot better than the legendary weapon for Face Hunter because you don't care about buffing your stuff. But again, this can go, I think, in any Hunter deck, aggressive, mid range, like a combo deck if it ever emerges because of the card draw, and also just the threats of the taunts. Generating taunts, protecting the board, those taunts can, you know, attack, do good stuff too. It's threats. It, this card to me is a, just another five star uh, standard card. I don't, like these Titans to me just are super reminiscent of Colossals. Every Colossal. Outside of like Kolak, I guess, and and uh, Cindergosa, but Cindergosa is a crazy card. It just has the rune requirement. That's the only thing holding back that card. When you discover it, you love it. It's great. But yeah, Kolak has seen play. It's, it's not amazing, but you know. And now at least he's played now that it's been rebuffed. That car, car got nerfed. It just reminds me of Colossals. They were like all really good. They're all really big, powerful, dumb minions. And they're probably capping out at six mana by the looks of it with Hunter and Mage. But I really love it. I, I just feel like we were, again, in a stage of Hearthstone where playing big minions just didn't feel that rewarding. And I like how I'm calling a six mana minion a big minion. Anyways. Five stars in standard in wild. I do think this has some possibility in like that Hound Hunter strategy. It's probably too slow for wild. There is the, um, sorry, not Hound Hunter, there's Beast Hunter where you like cycle through your deck, Tundra Rhino, and all of that. It competes with like Tavish and uh, cards like that, but they do run uh, the eight mana resurrect spell, at least some builds. It could slot into wild, but to me, or even an Even Hunter. Even Hunter actually really lacks card draw, and that deck's not terrible. So Even Hunter is another deck I would absolutely see uh, this being seen play in. So I'm gonna give it a three in wild. I don't see it like breaking the meta, but like Even Hunter, I think Beast Hunter could run it, and definitely like even like uh, not even Reno Hunter, which is somewhat viable with like Brand Zeph and all of that. I, I think there is validity in wild, but not at the level as it is in standard. So three in wild five in standard i've given every titan except the major five so far i think they're incredible let me know if i'm overrating in the comments below and tomorrow we will be reviewing two more titan cards get your free pack in the client and also enter a giveaway if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends